So we have the Navier-Stokes equation, right? Let's look at steady state Navier-Stokes equation. We have the du dt, right? The momentum equation, which for steady state is basically u dot product with the grad of u. So that's convection. That's like if you have a velocity going that way, the momentum is being convected uh, by this term. So there is another term that is uh, uh, 1 over rho times grad p. So that's the pressure term. That's like, it's, it's the reason uh, like why flow accelerates and decelerates and why the, the, curve, the, the, the streamline curves, right? So if you, if you have pressure gradient aligned with the velocity direction, direction it accelerates, decelerates the flow. If you have orthogonal, then it curves the flow. Right, so you can kind of think of the pressure as a, it's it's kind of isotropic. It's, so if you have pressure high here, it kind of pushes flow all around. And uh, this is uh, this is actually in low speed, low Mach number flows, what kind of couples the whole flow field together. And also you have viscous viscous terms. And let's uh, think of laminar and the constant viscosity flows for now. So viscous terms are basically you kind of have uh, if you have flows with different speed and you basically it's kind of a molecular diffusion right you have molecules that is moving faster on some region and moving slower or different directions in adjacent regions the the diffusion of the molecules uh, by random motion mixes them together it's kind of a local effect while the pressure is a global effect it's isotopic global effect and the the convection is a very directional also local effect all right so in the boundary layer equation, you have the flow very close to a solid wall. Let's say uh, this is one of the application of thin layer equations. So we know exactly what direction the convection term is. So it's exactly aligned with the, I mean, it's almost aligned with the wall, right? That's one of our assumptions. The velocity direction is almost aligned with the wall. Okay, and the pressure term is also easy because we know the effect of normal pressure gradient is essentially zero. Not only that, the horizontal pressure gradient is pretty much the same anywhere inside the boundary layer. So we know the pressure term instead of being like that is more like, like that. So it's, it, it can only act in the, uh, in, the, in the direction tangential to the wall. If, if you're assuming the curvature is small. If you're assuming curvature is small, and if you don't assume curvature is small, we can, we, we do remember the effect is also a delta over, over r, right? r is the radius of curvature. So if that thing is small, you know, the effect of the normal pressure gradient is also going to be small inside the boundary layer. Okay, so, I mean, uh, what I mean is the contribution of the normal pressure gradient to the streamwise momentum balance equation is going to be on the order of delta over r. Okay. And for diffusion, we also know that the x-directional landscape is much larger than the y-directional landscape. So the diffusion only happens in this direction. I mean, we only need to consider the diffusion happening in the orthogonal direction. So these are what helps us simplify the whole Navier-Stokes equation into a thin layer equation.